When the pandemic hit in 2020, more than 6,000 homeless students simply went missing from school roles. Now local advocates are on a mission to find them and to help them succeed. Savannah Levins joining us in studio with more details. Savannah, how do this many kids just vanish off these roles, right? Right. I mean, well, you think about virtual learning, things like that. And each year from 2014 to 2019, the State Department of Education clocked about 41,000 students experiencing homelessness, give or take a couple hundred over the years, but in 2020 that dropped by 6,046, 6,046 vulnerable kids who simply fell off the radar. Everyone's going to get these sheets of paper. In the face of a crisis, we crave solid ground. Stop the hatred, be kind, be nice. Love that. For Jeannie Lobato, art has always been that tether. I was born and raised in the inner city in Jersey City, and art was always my refuge. When I was creating, I wasn't thinking about what was going on. That led her to a full scholarship to art school, a career in graphic design, and eventually... This is, this is me playing basketball. Here. I'm going to hold it like this so they can see it, okay? Jeannie founded Draw Change with the mission of reaching Atlanta area kids experiencing homelessness. We use the art therapy principles to help them process and to help them express a very confusing moment that they're experiencing in their life. When Georgia schools made the shift to virtual learning, they lost track of thousands of students listed as unhoused. Often they had no way to reach them, no way to help them. Mom and dad or whoever their caretaker is at the moment is understandably trying to get a roof over their head, trying to get a job because they lost their job during COVID. So children are, are lost. The Georgia Department of Education has committed more than $4 million to find and assist those students in 2023. I'm going to be a tiger. Wrong. But many, like Jeannie, are not waiting. There is an immediate need that needs to be met. So we come in and we, we are a support system to the family. It may seem a small thing, color on paper, Yay. Good job. words on a page. What's your wish for the world? Everyone to have a thousand dollars. But for the kids lost to the pandemic. These are my friends. It's a foot back in the door and a reminder. Give me a thumbs up. They won't be erased. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. We'll see you next week. Now the DOE says with that money in 2023, they'll provide extra transport for unhoused kids, buy devices like laptops and hotspots for them, even pay for temporary housing. And of course, so many organizations like Draw Change are working every day to make sure these kids feel seen. Cheryl. Yeah, to, to find those lost children, Savannah, so important. Thank you so much.